Example number five. In this example, we are going to have a problem on the series generator. So a 10 kilowatt series generator having an armature circuit resistance of 0.75 ohm and a field resistance of 1.25 ohm generates a terminal voltage of 250 volt at full load. Determine the uh, efficiency of the generator at full load assuming that the iron friction and the windage losses amount to be 600 watt. So first, what is the requirement in this uh, problem? We would like to find the efficiency of the generator. So what is the efficiency of any generator? Efficiency is or eta is equal to the power output of the generator over the input power. That is all what is meant by a generator. So the power output here is given as 10 kilowatt. 10 kilowatt is the power output here, which can be I square RL. Okay, or IL multiplied by V terminal. Both of them give us the power output on the load. So power output is given as 10 kilowatt. Now we need to find the mechanical input power to the generator. So first, we have our mature circuit resistance of 0.75. So the armature resistance RA, RA is point. 7 5 and the field resistance of 1.25 ohm field resistance rf 1.25 ohm and the terminal voltage of 250 volts so the voltage here v terminal is 250 volt so we need to find the power uh, developed on the uh, rotor itself. So in order to find the power, we need the current IA and we need EA. So how we can get IA? IA is equal to IF equal to I load. So we know that the efficiency equal to power output over uh, power input, as we said here, and the input power. To the generator or the mechanical input power is equal to the power output plus all the losses occurred the losses here are the uh, couple losses here so power output plus couple losses plus the friction and iron losses okay or we can say that the b developed here plus the windage and friction losses Okay, any of them is correct. Both of them will give us the same answer. The couple losses here is simply I square, the, resist, the current square, multiplied by RA plus RF, RA plus RF. Okay, this is the couple losses occurred here on the generator. So we need to find IA. We can get IA from the power output. IA is equal to power output over V terminal. Okay, from here, you know that the power developed here is 10 kilowatt power output, 10 kilowatt. So 10 kilowatt over 250 volt give us IL. The power equal to the voltage multiplied by current. So the current is equal to the power, which is 10 kilowatt over the terminal voltage given 250 volt, which is 40 ampere so the couple losses will be i square 40 square multiplied by the total resistance giving us 3.2 kilowatt so we have the couple losses now adding the couple losses to the 10 kilowatt give us the developed power and so 3.2 plus the 10 kilowatt this give us the B developed which is E multiplied by the current IA okay 
so the summation of 10 kilowatt plus 3.2 kilowatt or the couple losses plus the power output give us the developed power on the shaft then adding this to the iron losses and friction give us the total input mechanical power okay so 13.8 kilowatt is our answer for the input power so the 13 13.8 point is uh, provide mechanical power provided to the shaft and it is exposed to frictional losses then couple losses then after this we will have the power output so the efficiency will be equal to the power output which is 10 kilowatt over the input power which is 13.8 kilowatt so the efficiency of this generator is 72.46 percent